Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. I have just had one of my classic text exchanges with Dan, which amounted to him sending a very blurry photo of a ripe tomato and the words, we grew a thing. So I've told him he cannot move. I am going out to look at it. It'll be our first tomato of the season. But also, for those of you who saw Dan's daily vlog a few days ago, you will know that I have a little bit of revenge to get after he did a spoof of my intro. For those of you who haven't seen it, whilst I'm on my way over to him in the lovely rain, I'll leave you with a clip of it now. Hi, I'm Dan and this is my work, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home I work here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my friends who help me to restore these lovely gardens. Welcome to the chateau filled with life, love and laughter. <laughs> I'm beginning to think Dan calls me over in this weather on purpose. Oi! Spotted! <laughs> oh, you keep going really. So where is it? Where is this thing? Oh, I ate it. No! <laughs> Didn't you do well? Very. It's a courtyard tomato as well? It's a chapel tomato. Chapel, chapel tomato. Well, I'm giving Kirsty all of the brownie points for this. Thank you. Because would you like to explain yourself about that? spoof intro you did? <laughs> Anything you'd like to say You're on your to own, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just not really, no. I no. think I said it all in the I video. particularly like the way you looked at the plant pot. Yeah, I couldn't do the eyes wide enough. That's the <laughs> that was the only issue. Ah, oh, that's a pity. You have to practice. Yeah, it takes me hours do, every I morning. I couldn't do wide eyes, but other than that, I think it I think I nailed it. You nailed the look. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Anything <laughs> you want to say, Kirst? Nothing to say. It was all Dan's idea. Well, because I saw you way. in there. Against my will. Um, oh, 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 yeah. He just, he just happened to catch you <laughs> unguarded. He gave me the jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was your high-vis <laughs> jacket. Yeah. I think it's time for Alain's Ode to Dan the Gardener.
work, moving the last of the tomatoes, trying to find the perfect spot for it. You're looking at me. I've had so much to do moving that tomato that I've only had seven hours to devote to flying my drone. I don't want to get that drone. Dan, uh, quite pleased with my little retaliation. Um, how come the clematis came back to life? You killed that thing. No. Yes, you did. You killed it I last it, year. <laughs> and you made me feel bad for a whole year. Going, <laughs> oh, that was my favourite clematis. Oh, remember that time you killed... Look, <laughs> it's better, actually. We're all quite surprised to see it again. We That's genuinely not... thought, Mommy, look. It's back, that thing that Dan killed. It's back! Pruned. <laughs> I pruned it. You thought you'd killed it too, go and admit stem? it. Where is the stem? That was a problem you didn't know last time. I know. <laughs> Here, look. <laughs> I did not kill that. <laughs> it's magnificent. <laughs> <sighs> well, you got lucky, that's all I can say. You strimmed it, didn't you? So we've got big exciting news for everyone. I wore you down. Yeah, the hashtag digger for Dan campaign won and we're getting a digger. Yeah. Uh, people asked and we're getting me, a bigger one. Exactly, yeah. My patrons were asking what type of digger was and I was incapable of answering. What are we getting, Dan? So we're getting a, a three-ton Kubota digger and it's the one that Matt's been using here. Oh, okay, So great. we know it can do... Yeah. Whatever we want. And that's bigger because what was the size we were going to get? We were looking at a one and a half ton. Oh, it's double. Yeah, which is like the mini, yeah. mini, mini digger. Oh, you could barely have planted a bulb. No. <laughs> but yeah, three tons going to be, it means we can all do a lot more. By we? Do you mean me? You can drive a digger. I know I can, but I... I remember because I had to clear the mound of mess you made from it when Beg I first pardon? came here. <laughs> I'm just ignoring Dan now. Let's go look around the garden, Kirsty. Oh, I love the flowers over there. It's so pretty walking in here now. They're doing really well, yeah. The cabbages are doing really well too. In fact, I want to show mummy the cabbages. We've never had luck with cabbages. These are looking pretty good, starting to come together. But the red ones, the red yeah. ones, <laughs> they're the, the scale. The red ones are something else. Mummy, if you're watching in South Africa, can you believe it? We never had anything like this. Is there a little one in there? They're yes, just starting yes. to house up. Yeah, they're looking amazing. They really are. Big, big success on the cabbages, like day of the triffids. <laughs> oh, These the red the dahlias are dahlias. out. <laughs> they are showstoppers. The size of them, they're that unbelievable. beautiful. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, that is my hand. It is nearly double the size of my hand. Oh, I see we've made it to the second compost bin. Dan, you may not think that using the second compost bin is exciting, but it is. Is it? Yes. <laughs> so who's Me and Thor. Well, look at that. Wow. So the first one's resting now. 
having a little nap. Yeah. How long is that going to be napping for? A couple of months. Okay. And then we'll maybe turn it again and then a couple of months and then we should be able to use it. So soon. I'm pretty impressed. Use a little bit of compost maker as well. Yeah. As uh, it was suggested by some people who watched the blog. Oh, fantastic. And it has made a difference. It's really started to Great. break down. Oh my goodness, a sunflower. Oh yes, it's out. I haven't it's seen one out. Seen out. out. Have you not seen it? No. The first one. I thought you meant the teddy bear sunflowers, the little ones. Oh, the little ones are cute, I but look, one. the big one was hiding in plain sight. <laughs> it's enormous. That was one of my father's favorite flowers. Oh. But that one's huge. Oh my goodness me, Stephanie. <gasps> no, I can't believe this. Why is he out? I don't think he's... He's alive. He's alive. He is alive. Oh, he's tiny. He's too small to be out on his own. Dan, hedgehog What's rescue. It? Do I need to put my jumpsuit on? Yeah. <laughs> that will help. Yeah. Philip's not here. He'll be gutted to have missed this. Oh, wow. But the poor, poor little thing. It's not a good time for him to be out and about. No. Baby hedgehog Aww. shouldn't be out. Mm, where's it come from though? I don't know. It's alive, but it, it's looking so tiny. I think we need to fatten it up. Must have a mum, surely. You'd have thought so. Maybe we should just put some cat food next to it. Let it go back yeah. to wherever it's come and from. And then just keep an eye on it during the day, see if it's all right. Yeah, we'll keep an eye for a pick him up. Oh my gosh, you're skinny. He's all quill. Oh, that's good. He can still roll into a ball. That's good. All right. Well, we'll get him something to drink. Yeah. And lots of delicious food. Oh, he's so sweet. Really sweet. What is it with us and hedgehogs? <laughs> Just seem to be a magnet for hedgehogs. Shall I get cat food? Yeah, if you've got any um, wet wet pouches or I think we do, tins. yeah. I'll run and have a look. Okay. We have cat food. We have cat food. We have hedgehog. We have hedgehog indeed. He's going to put the hedgehog in the little corner. Yeah, I think he's a bit more sheltered here. I might... Yeah, and maybe he's a bit safer in the walled garden just generally. Yeah. I think so. I could just get him a little saucer and... Uh... Excellent, thank you better off at the back there anyway all hidden away just give him half a sachet and i'll give him a bit more later when he's when he's confident enough to come out a bit more yeah there you go little man just another hedgehog rescue in the garden day just another one hello <laughs> so cute <laughs> back to that sunflower back to the sunflower yeah <laughs> oh yeah well, could you just stand next to that for comparison please i Kirsty? will <laughs> Wow. I'm 5'7". So. <laughs> you're 5'7", yeah, you're super tall. Well, <laughs> to me, 5'7 is super tall. <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic. And there's an even taller one ready behind it about to come out. That's an absolute monster. It's brilliant. <laughs> Can't wait for them to come out in the courtyard. Yeah. The locals are going to think that the chateau's lost its marbles. <laughs> Sunflowers all around the base of the main courtyard. And they know all about Dan now. So. <laughs> Everyone knows all about Dan. Have you seen the teddy bear sunflowers we've got too? They're so cute. Look. Oh, wow. And they go all fluffy. They do look a bit like teddies. They've done really well here. <laughs> I love the fact that in this garden, there are little gifts of seeds from all over the world. Everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely Flowers everywhere. It's vegetables. really nice to get the um, new varieties and new species. That yeah. We, and honestly, I think the cucumbers were a gift and they are the best we've ever, yeah, ever, ever so had. So nice. Yeah. So nice. There's a few more courgettes ready, so I could be <laughs> living on courgettes at the spring. <laughs> I had a pretty exciting chat with Davey the other day because I was in here by myself going for an actual walk. And I looked down there and I just thought the whole central avenue isn't an avenue because there's no trees on it. The whole sort of central walkway is really low and wide and too low. So I texted Davey and I went, I love all the plans for the garden, but this is too low. Can we do something? Thinking, you know, he'd mull it over for a while. He got yeah. back to me straight away. said, yeah, yeah, let me think about it. So that was yeah. it. Kind of put it from my mind for a while. By the time I got to the roses, he texted <laughs> me back with a sketch of an idea to have 
a sort of obelisk, square obelisk with trellising on, three meters high at the end of every single bed, all the way down the central path. Wow. It would be amazing, fantastic. wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. And we could even have, maybe, he hasn't got this on his sketch, but I was thinking a light on the top of each one for the evening to lead you It'd down. It'd be nice to have some lighting in here, yeah. Especially if you're going yeah. to the bonfire at night for a yeah, party. Yeah, yeah. And perhaps yeah. um, a little string or rope leading from each one to the next so that we could have climbing plants mm -hmm. between them, like looping all the way along Creating them. Creating more yeah. archways within it, yeah. I like that idea, definitely. Yeah, it needs something more. It doesn't look very grand when you come in, does it? No. And I wonder if that's something that my cousin could build. He's a carpenter. He'll be here soon. Mm -hmm. If I could chat to him about that too. Yeah. He could be a, a new member of the gardening dream team yeah. of La <laughs> I don't know if he'd pass the interview. It's quite, it's intense, isn't it? The initiation process. Look at my work here. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to you, Kirsty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually worried at the thought of Dan and my cousin hanging out together. It'd be nothing but trouble. Bubble, 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 bubble. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> nothing but mischief. Uh, there's an adult in charge, so... Thank goodness for you. <laughs> <laughs> so great, Ian, what's happened? What's arriving? This is all the flooring, the walling panels, the lovely compound for the bottom floor here, and the great big timbers are going to create her raised floor. Fantastic. Everything we need for the walls and the floor yes. of Natty's apartment. Yes. Look at this. All we, all we need now is somebody to be bothered to put it in. I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> this little fella is making an absolute racket outside my window. I don't know who he's looking for. I mean, it looks as though he's looking for his chicks, but... There's definitely no nest on the pergola. I've had a quick change because Philip and I are rushing out very, very excitingly to my favourite local chateau. It's called Saint Chartier and it's owned by Ivo, a fascinating, fascinating man. And we're going there to film a Sunday vlog about it. Now, hopefully all going well, you will already have seen the first part of the Sunday vlog because it will have been two days ago. And if I did manage to do that, I will put a link to it here. But there will also be a second part that'll be out this Sunday. That is if we get there and all is well and we do a good job. Look who I see on the car next to mine. Hello Julian. Hello Sif. Here we are in Saint Chartier and I am so excited to go and visit this chateau. I know it well, Philip's never been and I've always wanted to film this for everybody because it's glorious. It's the next one just on the corner here. Okay. Yes. Wow. I know. The place is incredible. Look at the gate. Even the gate. So I will jump out and look at that. I'm going to go and ring the bell. It's huge. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. <laughs> and the interiors are just as spectacular. I cannot wait for all of you to discover them in the Sunday videos. I'm speechless. It's so beautiful. I've been before. <laughs> Philip had never seen it. <laughs> He's so fascinating. He's, he's lovely and well spoken and well read and yes. very gallant. Like he is. Said. Yes. And he's, yeah. So now we have to get back in time for dinner with the bed and breakfast guests and Dana's cooking. Yes. So I'm excited about that. What a day, really. It's been such a treat. What was your favourite part about the interior? I like the hidden doors in the library. Ooh, yeah. One. And you? I think my favourite is either the portraits of his wife and children. Love that painting. Because that was beautiful. Uh, or the ancestral portraits. Like, I like a bit of history. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, fascinating. Look at this lovely, clean windscreen. Yes. <laughs> this clean. is a joy to film to be fair, the peacocks already had there. <laughs> yeah, the peacock didn't miss its opportunity. Oh, Dana's boot's still open. I wonder how far advanced dinner yeah. is. <laughs> I was going to say the big was already christened it, but... Yeah, it did. Dana, every time I come into this kitchen, somebody new is cooking for the guests. But I think you might win the most glamorous cook so far award. Can I just look at these shoes you are cooking in? Okay, Dan. Dan, have you noticed this? Huh? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> we want you with shoes. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, he had some pretty cool sunglasses, to be he, fair. He but... was amazing. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm very, very stressed out now because the level went up. So I just decided to do something really traditional in France and it will be Blanquette de veau. Ah, yes. And I made uh, Ashi Parmentier with duck. Ooh. So the, for the first course, it will be a little bit of salad with the uh, ramequin, with the small uh, Ashi Parmentier. Yes. So Ashi Parmentier, it's puree, it's, it's uh, potatoes. And uh, with uh, a confit de canard. So it's actually... It's... I love confit de canard. <laughs> mm. Because I just came back from Dordogne. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> you're in so I food. need duck. I need mm. duck. And for the um, uh, for the uh, blanquette de veau, yes, it has. So I made two. Yes. This mm. one is is a uh, Philip friendly. Lovely. A bit of rice, like yes. my mom makes. Mm. So I hope it will be fine. And uh, I'm going to do now the dessert, which yes. is of course. Oh, yum! <laughs> okay, well, I think we can take the starter out. Everyone's ready. They're ready? Yes. So, um, hmm. let's see if the cheese is ready. Oh, they look good. Wow, damn it, they look <laughs> so good. Oh, yes. Delicious. This looks vicious. <laughs> mm. Looks very vicious. <laughs> I don't think it's the time to start a regime. No, no diet for me. <laughs> so for the uh, for the preparations, I'm just going to put some salad from the garden. Yes. And um, some tomatoes from the garden. Are they from the garden? Yes. We have black tomatoes. Black tomatoes are beautiful. Can I try a bit? I'll oh, try a yes, little can. one. You, yes, you can. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like it? Very good. They're good? Mm. They're good? So yeah, it's going just to be uh, this really French thing. Ashi Parmentier can be eaten as first course and main course. Yes, I've always done it as a main course, so this yeah. is surprising. And in first course, it will be always in a ramekin or yeah. something individual, which mm -hmm. is really good because then we can play with um, whatever sensitivities or allergies you have, yes. so it's excellent. And don't forget ever, ever to put um, Nut, hopla. Nutmeg. Yes, nag. thank you, Philip. Nutmeg, mm. noix de muscat. This is, for all your puree, this what changes everything. <laughs> it's a life changer. And, truffle salt. Oh, truffle Truffles. salt. Uh, that I brought. Mm. Pecorino White. and truffle. Oh, and powdered truffle. Yes. It's so good. I love you, Dana. <laughs> I love you too. Yes. You see what I mean about how glamorous Dana's looking in the kitchen? <laughs> Bit of a sin, really. Having this Maybe. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natty. Welcome. Dana. Hi, everybody. Hi. So your uh, interest, first course, will be uh, Ashi Parmentier. Your salad is with sauce balsamique, truffle salt as well. I love truffles. And uh, <laughs> some tomatoes from the garden. The salad is from the garden. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Thanks, Dana. I hope it's fine. Thank uh, tell you. me if you need something else. Thank, Thank you. you. Blanquette de veau is one of the dishes that French love the most. Okay, so it's veal and it's made with carrots and mushrooms and it's prepared, it's cooked really slowly in a special dish. And there's rice, of course. It has white wine Ooh. in the sauce. Sounds like a better Okay, déglacé <laughs> <laughs> white wine. Okay, uh, thank you petit. very much. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. That was delicious, Dana. Thank you. Really, really nice. You're happy? Very happy. Thank you. Well, but you know, I'm, I'm missing a little something sweet at the end of the meal. In order to finish the French series. <gasps> ta, ta, ta. J'adore. Look at the caramel. Oh, no, I know. You've done very well, have you? It's quite nice. <laughs> I, I must admit, I make it differently because I like, I don't like white sugar. Mm -hmm. I only have brown sugar okay. and honey. So my caramel is butter, yes, brown sugar, yeah, and honey. With ice cream, of course. Of course. Of course. I didn't drop it. 
Tu m'as dit, mais écoute ça. Tiens, c'est tout de fait. I'm like his mom. <laughs> so now we understand his humor. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> and uh, vanilla ice cream. Oh, thank, thank you, you Dana. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I think I could just lose weight listening to her talk about food. I know, I know. There's no need to eat it, is there? Oh, Please tell me again. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> that fantastic? Have a compliment for French people. Ah. <laughs> French food. It's even better. Oh. <laughs> it was so Because good. it was a French night. Yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Dana. It was delicious. Well, thank you. Without you, cooking will mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We did it, didn't we? We did it. She will always have me to cook. Good night. Night night. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Dan Banda, Wailing Banshee, Brian Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Danel Benakovic, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalakani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Dobby, Jackie Allison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Green, Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hoob, Lissandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina Frank Martin, Meredith Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Nori, Maureen Palmer, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shurik, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stipora, Sabrina Surrett, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Vallelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Wiest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cocopoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo.